it's water. Water is water. Is it? I sat down with a nutritionist to talk about what's actually in here. Well, it is sparkling water season. For me, there is no off season, Jeremy. Sparkling water, more and more popular than ever. It's like water, but more exciting because it's sparkling and it's fizzy. But what's hiding behind these familiar labels? Yes, good point, Chris. I think that's the most important thing is that we have to define the terms. So let's clarify. Uh, traditionally, sparkling water is from natural occurring springs, aquifers, wells, right. natural sources with natural occurring minerals, which is unequivocally good for you, right? That's your Santa Pella Pellegrinos, your aquapanas, the stuff you see at fancy restaurants, okay. Apollinaris, right? Uh, that are either naturally carbonated from the source or some light carbonations added, right? What's been a growing category for the last several years dramatically in the U.S. are the flavored sparkling waters, which are more like seltzers, more like just regular municipal source waters that are seltzerized. Some of them, though, are flavored, but are also from natural sources. Uh, we have some perfect examples right here locally, Talking Rain. Uh, certain places, people wouldn't bother to check the label and see are there minerals or not. So when I go reach for an old familiar like LaCroix here, is this good or bad for me? Is there anything hiding in here? Because on the back it says nothing, nothing, nothing. Yeah, no added ingredients. That's what you're getting. Carbonated water, a little bit of natural flavoring. There's nothing bad, but there's also nothing of value. It's just essentially neutral. Gotcha. So if you're drinking soda pop 10 times a day and you're switching it out for, you know, a carbonated water, that's so much better for you, for diabetes, for your health, for your heart, for everything. Uh, but in terms of drinking it because you think it's some nutritious super beverage, not ideal. Not so much. Ultimately, all waters are not created equal, and it's as simple as checking the label, which most of us often don't bother to do, and noticing whether it's mountain spring water from a natural source, or simply carbonated, neutral, municipal water. So mineral water is the strategic choice over just your average sparkling water for sure. Yeah, and for me, tastes better. We should talk about just plain old bottled water. It's easy, it's convenient. These are familiar, they've been around for a long time, but even these labels can be a bit deceptive. Yeah, that's where they try to get us, is that they, they hook us in with the labeling and say, oh, this has got minerals in it, just like natural spring water, wonderful. But there's something hiding here on the back, right? Then it turns out, it's a negligible amount of minerals. It's pointless, absolutely pointless. Wow. No value added. All right, cheers. Cheers. Mineral water, the smart choice. Ah, although I gotta be honest with you, I'm taking this one with me. Nothing I love more than some delicious French sparkling water from Michigan. Hmm. All right, thanks Jeremy. So what have we learned in all of that? Uh, mineral water, of course, is the better choice. He also says a lot of people, a lot of his clients, he suggests, hey, I get it. If you like the LaCroix, that's your thing. They actually have uh, mineral packets. You know, you can just add it. So you can drink the things you're already liking. Just add those mineral packets in there. Uh, maybe you're going out this weekend. Maybe you're going out to happy hour. Do it in advance. Don't do it after. Do it ahead of time. Uh, but really check those labels because perhaps the best stories of all of this are a couple of lawsuits that happened back in 2007. Aquafina, which is Pepsi owned, by the way, mm -hmm. they actually were in a lawsuit and they were lucky. This was sort of before Twitter and things where we would have all known about this. But somebody decided to look into their labeling because it said bottled at the source, PWS. And after a while, somebody says, oh, we just, we, we're keeping track of this stuff. What is PWS? Where is that spring? And they revealed that bottled at the source, PWS stood for public water source, AKA it's tap water. Mm. So they said, <laughs> wow. you got to rebrand that. You got to relabel it. Uh, well, you saw the Arrowhead up there, that's owned by Nestle. Nestle was sued in 2003, uh, and actually just uh, one year ago, last August, they were also sued because it says on their cans, 100% natural spring water from Maine. Turns out it was really just from a well, it was just ground water. So look into wow. it, and if you're thirsty, maybe consider trying my brand new. This is the most honest I could get. This is Sparkling Hose 2.0. This is just <laughs> out of a hose and you'll see there's nothing in it. So Actually, right I should hose. go into marketing this kind of stuff because whenever my husband and I go hiking, I make him bring four water bottles, whatever yeah. we can fit in there, and we pump out water from deep in the woods and bring it home with us. See, that's for real. That's the key. So right? you're looking for that. If it's so from the source, I'm out of here. I'm quitting King. Yep. And just because I know we're going to get some texts <laughs> with people saying, hey, the teeth concerns. I heard that it's going to rot your teeth. Yeah, not true. It's not, not true. true. It's one of those <laughs> things. If you look it up, you'll see dental associations and in, in, in dentists saying, 
That seems logical. Because the only way you could rationalize it is that by carbonating it, you're, you're increasing the acidity in the water. But it's so minuscule, they're saying that they've actually done tests where they put teeth in water and in sparkling water. These were donated teeth. They okay. didn't take them. Donated uh, teeth. <laughs> and that there was really no choice. They said to your teeth, it's just water, unless you're drinking maybe 10 a day. What so about if you're bones? having a couple a day, you're, you're okay. You're good.